It's Saturday, Hero. Why did you turn on the alarm? Tonight! Big Halloween party! You're gonna sleep all morning. It's only 8.30, Dad. Thank you, Hero. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This isn't Japan. <laughs> we know that, John. We just want Hero to feel at home. It must be very difficult to be submerged into a new culture. He's getting used to it. Right, Hiro? <laughs> oh, Hiro is telling us about the big party you're going to tonight. What party? Halloween party. The party you're taking him to tonight? The one he's been talking about for the last two weeks? I forgot that... I have a date with Jennifer tonight. I'm sure you could take Jennifer out another night, couldn't you? I guess. Thank you. We have much fun at party. Trick me, please. <laughs> no, it's trick or treat. What this mean? If a house doesn't give you a treat, then you get to play a trick on them. Halloween is based on an ancient Celtic festival, and supposedly is the day when the line between the living and the dead dissolves. So people would wear costumes so the evil spirits wouldn't bother. Please speak slowly. No one really cares about that, Dad. <laughs> well, Hero, what costume are you going to wear tonight? John Travolta, way cooler. <laughs> I guess in a retro kind of way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is this how I get American girlfriend? No. You gotta be suave. You gotta be cool. You gotta go up to her and say, "Hey, babe, how you doing? Hey, baby, how are you doing? Okay, maybe you should stick to the whole Saturday Night Fever thing." to America.
<笑>元気だよあ、何その格好えー、今夜ハロウィンパーティーに行くのハロウィンパーティーって何、えー、みんな変装していろんな人の家に行ってキャンディーもらうんだ<笑>いいなキャンディーいっぱいもらってきてね<笑>はいはいひろくん元気元気だよ何その格好えー、後でハロウィンパーティーに行くのへえーアメリカ楽しい楽しいよ。本当に来てよかった。よかったね。<笑>バイバイ。じゃあまたね。バイバイ。I'm really glad Hiro's here. He is such a sweet boy. And a good influence, too. You know, much better than those hooligans that John usually hangs out with. <laughs> See address. Uh, 10-5-16. Wait, 10-5-16? Ah, uh, uh, yes, yes. Well, that's weird. We're already here. <laughs> oh. Good. Uh, doesn't even look like there's anyone in there. Oh, this is going to be lame. Let's go. Hey, this can't be the right place. Do you have the address? Uh, in car. All right, I'm gonna go check it. You wait here. This is a trick? Hero! No, hey, we're at the wrong address. What do you want? Get away from my house. Hero, no, hey, it's the wrong address. Oh, this Get is away it. from my house! Freeze! Hero! On October 17, 1992, in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, USA, a boy from Japan, an exchange student, was shot and killed. He just went to the wrong house for a Halloween party. The boy did not wear a mask, but without warning, instantly shot to death by the man of the house, a man with a 44 Magnum. There were children, even in the gunman's home. Perhaps for the children, Halloween decorations were hung. 
The suspect and his lawyer say it was self-defense because it could have been a burglar or something worse. He pleaded that he was protecting his wife and children. He killed too quickly before he saw that the burglar was only a boy. That boy will never come back to his father, mother, family, and friends. For 16 years, surrounded by love and kindness, and raised with care. But because of one simple mistake, he was killed. In a society where anyone can own a gun, people get killed because of simple mistakes. I appeal to all Americans who believe that guns protect their lives. But the fact is, with guns, your lives are anything but protected. Can you give your children a society where people live with guns? Guns hidden in pockets, drawers, and homes? Japanese children long to cross the ocean to see America. These children have never seen a gun. Go to a country where people have guns. I ask you, please, abandon your guns. Take them out of your homes to build a peaceful America.